went to Moab, a heathen nation. Now, there are a lot of people who was raised in church and supposed to have been serving the Lord, but they decide to go to the world. Most of your favorite singers, are, they sung in the choir. That's where they got their training. But now they sing for the world. Now they like to think and act like they still believe in God. <laughs> so you got to say that. Uh, you know, Rita Franklin. I see it come up. I, I was in the world and acting a fool when Aretha Franklin was jamming hard. Yes, indeed. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. You know? Hmm. I'm sure much I can say about that. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to leave that long, Lord. But do you understand that? In other words, she got her upbringing in the church. But now, she'd always been jamming for the world. But now, all of a sudden, her and Oprah was on TV a while back, and they sung one of these old gospel songs, and tears was running everywhere. But then at the same time, you turn around and you jamming. Huh? Now, some of y'all don't understand that, so I probably need to stay right here with you. Huh? How you go both ways? You get the world money, and then you get the so-called Christians money, too. And, and some artists think they can do that. They can sing in the world. Then sing gospel too. Look how quiet y'all are. If I preach the money coming, you'd be shouting. <laughs> Look how quiet you is now, see? See, because you think you can go both ways. You're going to go one way or the other. You're either fun or you're against it. You can't straddle the fence and say you know the Lord. And most individuals today are this modern day generation, this worldly church, they straddle the fence. They don't know what holiness means. Living holy, they think living holy is no makeup, long dress. Now, just because she ain't got no makeup or no long dress, that, that don't mean, that don't mean nothing. She's just big as whole or with a long dress on and she's one with one shot. Now, what that got to do with anything? Huh? They so what that got to do? You, you, you crack your face. Amen. That's what I said. What I got to do with anything? Because of certain dress codes. Now, that don't mean you have no dress up to your neck neither. So, Pastor, you You just need to understand. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle living in change. Change lifestyle. No, no, no. I'm trying to get back to my message, but I'm, I'm warring here, I see. Amen, amen. But, but, but I, I want to show.